Humankind has been making scientific discoveries since their inception. Human curiosity has always pulled us forward as we discover new ways of interpreting the world around us. Discoveries like these help us make sense of ourselves and our world. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three extraordinary new discoveries. Scientists had a secretive meeting about creating synthetic human DNA. Scientists are discussing the feasibility of using chemicals to build human DNA. If successful, DNA could be created without the need for biological parents. While still in the project planning process, a discovery like this could allow scientists to create human beings through a process that is similar to cloning. The meeting occurred on May 10th at Harvard Medical School. Attendees gathered as part of a group called the Human Genome Project 2 or HGP2. Behind closed doors, 150 attendees and scientists discussed the feasibility of DNA synthesis or the artificial production of human DNA. Their goal was to determine if the synthesis of a complete human genome could be completed within the next 10 years. Organizers described the meeting as a follow-up to the first human genome project, where scientists worked to build a deeper understanding of human DNA. The difference between the original human genome project and HGB2 is the new project will build the human genome, not just understand it. An event organizer said the project title and intention had been misunderstood, and the meeting title, Human Genome Project 2, was later renamed to HGP Wright, testing large synthetic genomes in cells. The topic alone has caused controversy in the scientific community, but the closed-door nature of the meeting has amplified frustrations. Absolutely no media coverage was allowed, and participants could not use social media during the meeting. Drew Endy, a bioengineer at Stanford, and Laurie Zoloth, a bioethicist at Northwestern University, are outspoken in their opposition to the project. They caution, While we strongly agree that sustained improvements in DNA construction tools are essential for advancing basic biological science and improving public health, we are skeptical that synthesizing a human genome is an appropriate demand driver. The creation of new human life is one of the last human-associated processes that has not yet been industrialized or fully commodified. It remains an act of faith, joy, and hope. Event organizers defended the meeting by sharing the vast scientific improvements this research could make. A primary organizer for the event, George Church, a genetic professor at Harvard Medical School, said, They're painting a picture which I don't think represents the project. Organizers like Church clarified that the meeting was created to determine the deliverables and industry involvement needed to replace the existing genome in a human cell with a synthetic one. It was not organized to discuss the artificial creation of human beings. Church further explained that a private meeting was necessary because a scientific paper related to the discussion was under review for publication. In the scientific community, it is a requirement to keep this research private prior to its publication. It is an interesting and controversial topic for all involved. While this project is said to be still in the planning stages, it's becoming more feasible to expect this technology to exist in the coming future. This new technology could help us cure diseases and advance medical care for millions, but it could also lead to disaster. Scientists accidentally discover huge galactic structure in space. Astronomers have made a fantastic yet accidental celestial discovery. Ron Allen, a physics and astronomy professor at Johns Hopkins University, alongside a team of astronomers, accidentally discovered a galactic structure made from gas and dust. This gigantic structure extends through the disk of the Milky Way galaxy and possibly beyond. Since discoveries like this are so rare, the group barely believed it at first. But since then, more observations have confirmed the structure's existence. The pathway to this discovery was marked with changes in how celestial bodies are observed. Originally, when astronomers would talk about the term vacuum of space, it was defined as the empty space between celestial bodies. 
Now, astronomers are realizing that space is not actually empty, but is instead filled with a dust and gas mixture called interstellar medium. The gas in the interstellar medium is mainly composed of hydrogen. Hydrogen is essentially invisible to astronomers, so they must decipher the existence of hydrogen placements in space by tracking other gases like carbon monoxide or hydroxyl gas. These gases are called tracers. Allen collaborated with Dave Hogg of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory and Johns Hopkins University PhD students Philip Engelk and Michael Bush to use tracers to eventually reveal the existence of the newfound galactic structure. At first, the team thought the structure was a marker or feature of the Green Bank Telescope that they used for their research. Engelk commented, To be even more sure, we tried several different independent signal processing techniques on the GBT and 20-meter results to attempt to remove the feature, but none of these methods managed to remove it. After another 100 hours of research, the astronomers were confident the structure was real. This finding could affect how we understand certain theories about the formation of stars and interstellar medium structure. It also reveals that molecular gas played a significant role in the birth of the Milky Way galaxy. Unfortunately, Allen passed away in 2020 while the research was still in draft form, but his discovery will continue to help us understand our galaxy's complexities. PhD student Michael Bush said, Ron was an incredible mentor, a brilliant astronomer, and a great friend to me. I will miss him dearly. Astronomers crack the mystery of the monster stars. Twelve years ago, a group of scientists found four gigantic monster stars. These stars were found in the giant star cluster named R136 in a neighboring galaxy called the Large Megalanic Cloud. The largest of these monster stars are more than 300 times as massive as our Sun and mysteriously have never been found anywhere else. Since 2010, a group of astronomers has been trying to find an explanation for the massive stars. Astronomers from the University of Bonn in Germany have a solution. They resolve that the monster stars were created by the merger of smaller stars rotating in tight pairs or binary systems. Why is this discovery so groundbreaking? Well, before the stars were discovered, scientists believed that stars of that size could not exist. They believed that stars formed in the present-day universe could not exceed the limit of 150 times the Sun's mass. It was universally agreed that this was the maximum limit for the size of a star, that is, until the monster stars were discovered. Because these giant stars contradicted this limit, scientists believed that these stars might be an exception to the rule. They wondered if the creation process for these stars differed from all others in the universe. This would mean that a basic principle of modern astronomy was wrong. To determine how the stars were created, astronomers from the University of Bonn, along with Sambaran Banerjee and Siung Kung Oh, worked to solve this mystery. They made an accurate model of all 170,000 stars in the R136 cluster. After hundreds of thousands of calculations, the astronomers began seeing an accurate recreation of the birth of these monster stars. Since the cluster has so many stars in such a tight area, the stars formed binary pairs. These pairings rotate around each other until the two stars collide and combine to form a heavier, more giant star. Eventually, they become as large as the massive stars found in R136. Lead investigator Sambaran Banerjee explains the phenomenon best. Imagine two bulky stars closely circling each other, but where the duo gets pulled apart by the gravitational attraction from their neighboring stars. If their initially circular orbit is stretched enough, then the stars crash into each other as they pass and make a single ultra-massive star. Although extremely complicated physics is involved, when two very massive stars collide, we still find it quite convincing that this explains the monster stars. Pavel Kruper of the University of Bonn explains, This helps us relax because the collision means that the ultramassive stars are a lot easier to explain. The universality of star formation prevails after all. From the birth of stars to the creation of human DNA, science leads us to new discoveries that impact how we see our world.
But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and please help this community grow by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.